Welcome, this is the energy of Aboriginal reading for Sun, Moon and Rising Leos. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the last week of May 2017 and this week um, I want to say first thank you for all the likes and shares and the message that you left behind. Thank you for everything. Um, please like share these videos if this is your first time please subscribe to this channel that way you can help us okay it is a wonderful wonderful um, experience it is the week of the Emperor the week of the Emperor helps you and share with you certain light positive energies coming in it connect um, with you in the success accomplishment because the energy of the number three um, three of Pentacles so you're working together with other people to bring forth something in your life and this is going to be extremely wonderful okay so this is profoundly um, wonderful your week is a week of uh, um, um, the three number three is very 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 important number three the nine of cups your wishes and dreams are coming true but the number three energies are good on Monday you have the page of sword the page of sword is always that little fellow that create um, confusion um, and that sort of a thing and this situation is here and what is going to happen is that be aware of people who are asking you for information or trying to spy on you or that sort of an energy want it is an air energy and you are a fire energy this is your week uh, be aware of this on Monday people who are trying to get information from you and that sort of a thing on Tuesday you have the two of cups which is a beautiful energy so um, a connection um, if you are at work it could be a work uh, situation with, that you went for an interview and the contract and that sort of a thing and you're connecting and um, uh, this is good because it's this week is all about balancing certain aspect of yourself the tower comes up on Wednesday which is wonderful I love the energy of the tower and especially when it's upright because it's cleansing a lot of people do not like the tower but the tower is cleansing in this week as we look at Thursday your wishes and dreams are coming true which is wonderful you have the nine of cups beautiful positive energies for you and this is going to be a wonderful energy that is coming in to uh, support you on your journey so your wishes and dreams are going to come true especially in your the work scenario and the professional your career on Friday you have a rest period and each and every person should take this rest period it's not that you stop doing what you're doing but it's a time when certain things need to change and you need to give um, the energy vibration and the universal angel the time to make these changes so you know when people are looking for work they can't find work that is the time that the angels are trying to prepare them for something much better because it's always something much better when you leave something behind as we look at the weekend you have the fire energy and this is good because your best week is where best day is going to be on Saturday um, Saturday you have the three of ones which you're leaving something behind for something new and wonderful because the cleansing come in so you'll be ending a, ending a situation with the page of sword here you're ending a situation for some people um, on Sunday you have the angman in reverse which is wonderful I love him when he is not in reverse because what is happening is that he is no longer in limbo he knows exactly what he wants and he's going to go for it you are and you carry the energy vibration of the lion and this is a positive energy vibration as we look at your week and we're going to look at the aspect of love is going to come in um, there is a connection uh, it could be that when I'm getting some people are having certain type of a relationship and what they're doing is that um, maybe your girlfriend is not uh, um, feeling that you are being honest about something and she's asking question about you 
some people might find that out and some people might want to move away from the energy vibration so the aspect of this happening it could happen there is no break but you're thinking this is not what I want in my life so this sort of a scenario is playing out for you the nine of cups is wonderful you're out of this period of you just sitting back and waiting for something the rest period is over and now you're starting to move away because like each and every person has, has a rest period where they're like I don't want to connect with anyone I just need to have my space and I need to find myself and this sort of energy is coming in because the tower is here and after the tower then you see your wishes and dreams the things that you want to aspire for is coming into you and this is going to be wonderful be aware some people might have a child that is of an air element an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran um, this person could be creating some sort of a situation so make sure that you bring it um, you make sure that whatever this person is trying to create that you don't get involved with this sort of a situation on that it is not uh, vibrating in your eye uh, energy vibration okay there's sometimes we need to just um, not vibrating with some people and just let them understand that you know you're not there I'm gonna ask the funny cards so what is there is there any other message the two of cups is coming in and this is going to be a new contract for you and this new contract is going to be something that you have been always wanted so this is going to be positive and he has just say just say now just say now so you had the number three as energy vibration and this is uh, number 33 or um, just say now just say now okay whenever the energy vibration of just say now comes up they are saying to you just say what you want just express yourself what you want so if you want a new job you ask the universal angels to place you in a in, in a job that uh, is very fulfilled and you can ask the universal angels please uh, awaken my soulmate and my twin flame so we can meet that sort of a thing um, so whatever you need your angels and guides and your spirit guides are just saying to you just say no once you give them the yes and just say now this is what will happen okay so this is a wonderful energy to leave your reading with this is positive but before I leave a reading I'd like to say that um, the month of June reading is already um, um, uploaded please um, go and listen to your June reading because it has so many information please also listen to your Sun moon and rising sign I want people to understand that with your Sun moon and rising sign there comes more information out and as I'm looking at this any energy vibration for you guys and see what's going to happen the tower is a cleansing energy and the tower is working with the Emperor and it's all about your financial aspect this um, situation if you have a child who is of an air sign this child needs attention so be open up to give this child the attention that they need and <clears throat> be positive in whatsoever you do ask for whatsoever you would like to have know that once you ask, it will come into you be aware of who you are and be aware of your journey and where you are at this moment and you will understand more things about who you are so this is really really special this is a time for each and every person to connect and um um, if you'd like a personalized reading you can always connect with me on the website the link is below and if you'd like to you know just order a time where you can just have and 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 uh, um, you know just a time where you can speak to someone who has no judgment uh, judgmental 
of who you are you can always connect with me on and clarity and clarity is wonderful the link is also um, at the bottom and I'm saying namaste till next week